Hi, Alan here, and greetings. It's winter uh, 2015, really late autumn, but we've already had in town here probably two or three feet of snow. There's a good several inches on the ground. We've had some sub-zero nights, and right now it's raining, but that's only temporary. Uh, skiing on the mountain is great, and I'm having a great time being in my fifth wheel uh, again for a fourth winter uh, where it gets inordinately cold. Now, I want to talk with you today about your RV refrigerator because I know people that have said, help, it's cold outside, but my refrigerator won't get cold. It's warm. So what's going on? Well, there's a couple of things you can do to minimize the risk that you face uh, having an RV refrigerator. First of all, if you buy a high-end uh, RV, some of them now are coming with residential refrigerators, and uh, that may be a solution because RV refrigerators have a series of ductwork in the back of the uh, refrigerator on the outside side wall that um, has an ammonia solution that works its way through it and it gets very sluggish when the temperature drops below freezing. So if you are RVing in an area where the temperature drops below freezing, uh, this message is for you. And if it drops significantly below freezing, this message is increasingly important for you. First of all, if you have a Norcold refrigerator, you can get what they call a winter kit or a cold weather kit. My post on rvacrossamerica.net will have the link to a suggested vendor that can get you that cold weather kit. Again, it's rvacrossamerica.net. So if you're finding this on YouTube, feel free to flip over there and search for it. It's probably going to be in the section called uh, spending a winter in your RV or something like that. I've got a photograph of snow on one of my tiles that talks about uh, RVing in the winter. So the winter kit is your first line of defense. It's some electronics that get installed. Uh, I think it's a heating element of some type and uh, it helps. Now, where I've been, it's not the be all and end all. You need more. A second thing that you can do is if there is room in the compartment on the outside of your RV, fifth wheel, travel trailer, motorhome, whatever it is, there is a compartment where the back of the refrigerator can be found. Um, if there is room there, you can mount a uh, incandescent light bulb, a light bulb that is going to heat up. I use a 100 watt bulb. I use a... Uh, a simple platform fixture I picked up at uh, Walmart and I stopped by a uh, construction store to get a piece of sheet metal to make sure that that bulb does not make contact with any wood frame or walls or anything like that. That bulb generates just enough heat that radiates upward since warm air loves to travel up and will keep the um, ductwork a little bit warmer than it otherwise would be. That's a safe way to go as long as you think about how are you mounting the bulb. And in my case, I've got a second outlet back there. It's almost as they anticipated, uh, as if they anticipated the need. The third thing you can do is to think about how you orient your RV when you park it. Are you orienting it so that the side uh, with the refrigerator, with the refrigerator vent, is on the southern side of your RV. So it's going to get some sunshine during the day. That helps. Uh, even on days where it stays at zero degrees Fahrenheit or below, that will absolutely help to keep the situation from getting totally out of control. Worst case scenario, and I've had to resort to it a couple of winters back when it was inordinately cold in a steamboat, is you get yourself a 40 watt, uh, 40, uh, 40 quart cooler and uh, it's a 12 volt cooler and I use it during the summer to transport my uh, food um, since I'm sometimes nowhere near a market between where the market is and where home is I want to keep my food cold well during the winter I use that 40 quart cooler on rare occasion now uh, to uh, store my provisions while my RV refrigerator refuses to cooperate but if you do the three things I'm talking about if you do the winter kit uh, for Norcold, at least, I don't think they make one for Dometic. Uh, if you orient your rig so that the refrigerator is on the southern side, and if you put a light bulb in there, um, you should be okay down to at least zero or minus 10. I've been as low as minus 15 or minus 20 
uh, in the last two winters and have not had a problem with the refrigerator and freezer um, seizing up on me. So that's it for today's uh, word of advice. I'm Alan. Uh, I invite you to rvacrossamerica.net. Take a look at the other posts. Take a look at some of the health products that I recommend and uh, just some of the other stuff that's there. Thanks very much, and you have a great day.